Hey guys, welcome to Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City, California. Now there's a lot of legends here, but I only have about a half an hour until I'm due at LAX for my flight. But I'll show you as much as I can of these beautiful grounds and of those laid to rest here. Now let's get started. First we have Sharon Tate Polanski, who was a well-known actress and the wife of famed director Roman Polanski. They moved in together into the house at 10050 Cielo Drive. Sharon was eight months pregnant at the time, on the night of August 8th of 1969. Members of the Manson family came over to her home and brutally murdered Sharon Tate, her unborn child, as well as several other innocent victims there that night. She was only 26 years old. This is the final resting place of Rita Hayworth. She was an actress who rose to fame in the 1940s and best known for her 1946 film Gilda. She appeared in 61 films and was voted in the top 25 for Best Female Motion Picture Stars by the AFI. She passed away in 1987 at the age of 68. Here we have the grave of actor Jack Haley, best known as the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. He was in a number of other films over the years and he passed away in 1979 in Los Angeles at the age of 81. Near him rests the godfather of horror film, Bela Lugosi. Lugosi is best known for the 1931 film Dracula. He found himself typecast as a horror villain and tried to find other roles. He eventually teamed up with Ed Wood for a series of films later in life. He passed away in 1956 at the age of 73. A couple plots down from him lies one of the most influential artists of the 20th century, Bing Crosby. He made over 70 films and recorded over 1,600 songs. The biggest song of his career was his recording of Irving Berlin's White Christmas. He also received the Academy Award for Best Actor for Going My Way in 1944. He also received 23 Gold and Platinum Records. Bing Crosby passed away in 1977 at the age of 74. Now we head into this beautiful mausoleum. Just inside the door and to the left is the final resting place of Ray Bolger, best known as the Scarecrow in The Wizard of Oz. Following that role, he did quite a bit of stage acting as well as other films and television. He passed away in 1987 at the age of 83. Next, just down this hall and to the right, is comedic actor John Candy. Candy started his career as a member of Second City and became a lovable character and stole the scene in just about every film he was in regardless of the role. He appeared in The Blues Brothers, Uncle Buck, Home Alone, Summer Rental, Stripes, and my personal favorite, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. He was a beloved member of Hollywood and he was a fantastic guy to boot. He was in Mexico in 1994 shooting scenes for Wagons East when his life was cut tragically short at the age of only 43. Thanks for joining me on this adventure, and there will be plenty more ahead. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss future episodes. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great night, everybody.